Jose Oliva went to the El Paso Veterans Affairs Clinic for a checkup, but what happened that afternoon still has him shaken up three months later. Only on ABC7, reporter Ashley Rodriguez is live to tell us what happened. Ashley? Rick Oliva says he was attempting to enter the VA clinic, but the interaction with the guards went horribly wrong, leaving him in cuffs, and he says with injuries. You know, that could have killed me, actually. 71 year old Vietnam vet Jose Oliva says he's had shoulder and throat surgery after what happened at the VA clinic on February 16th. Just to spend one year in, in a combat zone and luckily to survive, I never ever came close to being hurt so much as I did on this date. This is surveillance video Oliva obtained of the incident and shared with us. He's on the bottom left of your screen. He says the guards tell him to empty out his pockets, which he does. Oliva says they then ask for his ID. This says he's preparing to walk through the metal detector. He says he told them his ID is in the bucket. The standoff goes on for almost three minutes. Just as he's about to go through, the detector goes off. The guards tackling him to the ground. It's been a constant past three months of uh, nightmares. Oliva says he was stunned and hurt. The guards employed by the VA and considered the clinic's police cuff him and take him to a side room where questioning continues and a citation for disorderly conduct issued. All the while, Oliva says he doesn't understand why he's being treated so aggressively in the very place where he seeks care. I have seen my psychiatrist three times and he has told me that my P PTSD treatment that he started with me over a year ago just got shot. We reached out to the VA for their side of the story. They tell us their officers were interviewed and videotapes were reviewed. Quote, the investigators found the charge of excessive use of force leveled by the veteran could not be substantiated. Our police service takes seriously its role to safeguard our veterans while they are on campus. And Rick Oliva has filed a personal injury suit against the VA clinic and is represented by attorney Joe Spencer. Back to you. Ashley, thank you. Today, jurors